Hey everyone, my name is Morgan and welcome back to Fortnite. So yesterday, after a delay, we received the Survive the Storm update and with that we got the four new legendary heroes. Well, to be totally honest here, they're really not new. They're more or less reskins of old heroes, but nonetheless they are the latest addition to the playable heroes within the game. In today's video, I'm going to be taking a look at all four new legendaries and seeing what they offer in terms of perks. So if you guys ever get to choose between one of these four, you can have a little bit of knowledge going in on what exactly they offer. I also want to give a quick thanks to the folks over on our community discord. I was at work when the update dropped. They let me know. They sent over screenshots and everything so I could take a look at it and get you guys this video as soon as I got home from work. If you guys are interested in joining our community discord, the link can be found in the top of the description. But without further ado, let's get in today's video. First up, we have Centurion Hawk, the new legendary soldier. His perks are as follows. Advanced tactics, his health is increased by 10% and and his ranged weapon damage is increased by 10% as well. He has Warcry. This lasts a total of 15 seconds. This will buff your melee and ranged weapon damage by 40%. You will receive a 16% attack speed increase to your melee weapons and 40% fire rate increase to your ranged weapons. Next, he has Debilitating Shots. Dealing ranged damage applies one stack of vulnerability, increasing damage taken from all sources by 5% for 15 seconds and can stack up to three times. Next, he has Lingering Pain. The vulnerability effect for debilitating shots can now stack up to five times. Combatant's Might. This reduces the Warcry energy cost from 50 to 35 total energy. He has Shockwave, which allows the soldier to jump into the air and then smash the ground. He has Perfect Engineering. This automatically applies three stacks of vulnerability to all enemies hit by Shockwave. Mighty Roar. This increases the range of Warcry by 55%. Power Impact, this increases the radius of Shockwave by 38%. He has Frag Grenades. Blitz, move 25% faster and gain energy 10% quicker for the duration of Warcry. And his final perk is Kneecapper. This increases the effectiveness and his final perk is Kneecapper. This increases the effectiveness of debilitating shots vulnerability up to 9%. And his support bonus for those of you that would want to put him in a tactical or support slot, he has Waste Not, Want Not. This increases the capacity for all weapons by 10%. So that's Centurion Hawk. We're going to move on over to the Constructor next. Next up, we have Base Hype, the legendary constructor. Her first perk is Creative Engineering. This increases build speed by 10% and reduces build cost by 10%. Next, she has Bull Rush. This allows her to pull out a shield and charge forward for three tiles, knocking enemy husk out of the way. She has Base. This causes attached structures to gain 12% damage resistance and causes energy damage to enemies that melee the affected walls. Her next perk is Automated Defenses. This increases the base connectivity by one building piece. Up next we have Long Rush. This increases the Bull Rush distance from three tiles to four. She has Plasma Pulse. This allows her to deploy an explosive plasma emitting device that will damage enemies that are close to it. She has Electrified Floors. Enemies within the area affected by base take damage every two seconds. Her next perk is Safety Protocols. This increases damage resistance of structures within base by 6%. Emergency Override immediately ends the cooldown of Bull Rush when the Constructor's Shield breaks from damage. Kinetic Overload. Critical hits with a hardware melee trigger a Kinetic Overload, dealing additional damage and knockback to the target. Her next perk is Riot Shield. Any enemies pushed will take critical hit damage and be knocked back further at the end of a bull rush. And her final perk is Lofty Architecture. This increases the health of buildings within base by 15% and her support perk is Shielded. This increases maximum shield by 10%. Next we're on to the Outlander. Moving on to Trailblaster AC, the legendary Outlander. First up for perks, he has Focused Acquisition. This increases chance to find double loot by 6%. Moving on, he has Shock Tower. This deploys a tower that emits chain lightning and damages enemies within range for 6 seconds. Next, he has Loot Llama. Deploy a llama that you whack and obtain building and crafting materials for you and your team. Next, he has Teddy. Deploys a large Teddy defense turret that lasts 15 seconds. 
capacitor. This increases the duration of shock tower by two seconds. Overbearing increases the range of Teddy's attack from four tiles to six. In the zone, after five hits with a pickaxe, pickaxe damage is increased by 24%. Super capacitor increases shock tower duration by another two seconds. Barricade, enemies damaged by Teddy are slowed by 30% for six seconds. Forked Lightning, Shock Tower can emit a third bolt of Chain Lightning, striking up to seven additional targets. Anti-Material Charge, perform a punch that will deal damage to any structure hit and knock back smaller enemies. And then Impossibility Matrix, he can hold one additional charge fragment. And his last perk is Electroshock. Shock Tower will deal 133% additional impact damage. And then he actually has a support and tactical bonus. For support, he has Make It Count. This increases pistol critical hit damage by 35%. And for tactical, he has Your Move Creep. Decoy periodically damages enemies within the attraction radius. So that wraps up the Outlander, and finally, we're moving on to the Ninja. And to finish everything off, we have the legendary Ninja Deadly Blade Crash. For her perk, she has Throwing Stars. She throws out three quick bursts of Throwing Stars towards the Husk, and has a cooldown of six seconds. She has Mantis Sleep, which allows her to perform a double jump in the air once she has already jumped at the cost of additional energy. She has Corrosive Stars. Throwing Stars afflict their targets, doing 25% of Throwing Stars damage every three seconds for six seconds. Rapid Fire, this reduces the cooldown of Throwing Stars from 6 seconds to 3 seconds. Next up is Crescent Kick, this is a quick kick that deals 427 damage, 800 impact, and stuns Husk for 3 seconds. Her next perk is Assassination, dealing sword damage grants 1 stack of Assassination, and this is increasing the damage dealt by swords by 5%, it'll last 5 seconds and can stack up to 5 times. Next up we have Anatomy Lessons. This increases Sword, Axe, and Scythe critical hit chance by 20%. Cascade, throw one additional throwing star on the third toss. Dragon Slash, you spring forward and swipe the husk in front of you and damaging any husk within 0.5 tiles. Pain Mastery, Assassination Stack now grant a 3% bonus per stack to critical hits with edged melee weapons. Corrosive Blade, critical hits from edged weapons deal 30% of hit damage over time while reducing movement speed of targets by 30%. And then for her support, she has Anatomy Lessons. Sword, Axe, Scythe, a critical hit chance are increased by 10% instead of 20 as she has on her perks. And then her tactical bonus is Corrosion. Critical hit from melee weapons are dealing 15% of hit damage every second for 3 seconds while reducing movement speed by 30%. Well, anyways guys, that about wraps up today's video. I just wanted to take a look at all four legendary heroes. I'm kind of disappointed they're really just reskins. I was hoping maybe something a bit more exclusive and unique about all of them. But hey, nonetheless, they're new heroes. I'm excited to get them. Let me know which one you guys are trying to get down in the comment section below. I'm personally shooting for the Soldier and the Outlander, but hey, the Constructor and the Ninja look great as well. But anyways, that brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, a like is always appreciated here at the channel. If you happen to be new to Split Screen, be sure to subscribe for everything Fortnite and more. Once again, my name is Morgan. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time.